notification has published a syllabus with eight sections in part one part one is basically the architecture part in the architecture part they have given eight sections a b c d f g h and in the part two that includes general awareness reasoning and also general aptitude that is quantitative aptitude and english that uh, 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 those are the four parts in part two which will have 40 i already told you will have 80 percent weightage 80 marks not 80 percent 80 marks uh, from part one 40 marks from part two 80 questions from part one 40 questions from part two that's the distribution now moving on to the details of the syllabus as i told you already dda 2019 requirement test for architectural assessment dd 2020 architectural assistant requirement test the syllabus was slightly different from this year so there are slight modifications in the syllabus so uh, if you have attempted or prepared for the past dda papers make sure you know the differences focus on the new topics which have been introduced understand the distribution of the topics and all uh, before you start your pre preparation anyways getting into the details of the syllabus of the architecture part as i told you eight sections have been mentioned section one is architecture so i just have given the headings over here if you go through the notification under each and every heading detailed points are written points are written to a such a level of detail like for example history of architecture they have also mentioned what are the civilizations you should study mesopotamian civilization under mesopotamian what should you cover persian assyrian so they have written the name of the civilization you should study egyptian architecture greek architecture roman architecture so all those points also are mentioned in the official uh, notification so just go through even uh, the architects and the works what are the various who are the various architects you need to study however they just gave some uh, some five or ten architects and they have mentioned etc but you uh, the detail the syllabus is in an elaborate manner all the points have been mentioned under each and every heading if we just go through the headings in brief let me just tell you so that at an overview you know what is the content you need to study what are the topics you need to study so to get an understanding of it architectural design theory and practice under this you have various topics like principles of design like uh, in the last uh, last 2020 dda paper and also in 2019 dda paper of architectural assistant questions were asked on principles of design like scale and proportion rhythm they have given picture and asked what is, what does it depict what is balance what is symmetry so such things also such basic concepts also have been tested in the past papers so that that's in the architectural design theory and practice even project management is mentioned under this section first section then you have building construction surveying and structures this is a very major part of the syllabus because it includes major subjects like building materials building construction structures that is structural basics of structural mechanics also surveying leveling and contouring all these are a part of section 2 that is b then you have professional practice building norms and approvals under this third part so this is something which is new in the past exam pattern of architectural assistant this part was not there they have introduced it this year that includes the master plan of delhi the unified bylaws building bylaws of delhi this was not a part of the syllabus earlier so that also is included into the syllabus then you have building services which is also an important area because it covers topics like solid waste management sewage treatment water supply a lot of questions were asked from these topics in the past paper then we have environmental studies which focuses on environmental pollution uh, ecosystems types of ecosystems and also uh, various types of environmental pollution abatement strategies natural resources what are renewable and non renewable resources questions were asked on these areas in last few in the past paper of dd architectural assistant test 2 then we have history of architecture you all are aware what is history of architecture so it covers various historic civilizations both in the western and also in the indian context so even in indian context you need to study uh, nagara style of temple architecture buddhist architecture dravidian style of temple architecture chalukyan style of temple architecture hindu and jain temple architecture all these are mentioned all these points have been elaborately written in the syllabus of the notification uh, that's the uh, sixth section then you have computer applications computer applications mainly relates to basic software which we use in architecture like photoshop or sketchup or say uh, autocad so questions related to that could be asked in this part and then finally we have architectural graphics which focuses on various aspects like architectural drawings standards the standards related to architectural drawings dimensioning lettering the sizes uh, line weights and also the uh, color theory all these are a part of architectural graphics so this is the allow so basically it covers everything which uh, architecture graduate studies in the br course 
right from first to the final year all that is a part of the syllabus so you will be having a total of 80 questions from this part other than that second part which where you will have 40 questions will include quant reasoning general awareness and also english english language basics of verbal ability uh, so this could be a scoring area if you have sufficient practice let me tell you for the architecture topics it is advised to have a subject wise study because that way you will be covering everything whereas so basically you can start with the topic so you are starting one subject studying it and then moving to the next sub subject that will be suitable for part one but part two uh, it requires a continuous so basically you need to do so you need to practice english on daily basis practice general aptitude on daily basis it becomes very crucial to focus on practice and you there is no we also are going to provide a lot, lot of practice questions on these areas other than that you yourself also can find a lot of practice questions on various sources of the internet so uh, focus on practice of part two on daily basis spend at least one hour or 40 minutes on daily basis to practice questions of part two because with good practice you will develop a, a speed which is required to score well in the examination so focus on that part that becomes very crucial so that's an understanding of the overall official syllabus of this exam 